somehow you had a quote unquote stolen Ohio or stolen election. Based on your evidence and what you presented here, there's no question in your mind, or is there, that Barack Obama won the state of Ohio in November of 2012. But that's, you know, I mean, our audit is to detail some of the problems that existed with some recommendations for remedy of how we might address them, to address some of these concerns. As far as saying, uh, you know, uh, what it would have uh, made a determination on the election, that's unknown. Uh, there's more factors that go into that. And, uh, but I, I think this will go a long way for the uh, material for the Secretary of State's office to address uh, the concerns. And he's been proactive, by the way. He's not sat on the sidelines. His uh, May report indicates that. Uh, he's been engaging with uh, the public on, on any concerns that arose, both voter suppression uh, uh, suggestions and also with uh, irregularities in voter fraud. Right. You mentioned widespread fraud in here. I just wondered how widespread did you find the fraud? Well, as we indicated, you know, obviously Hamilton County, that was, uh, you know, was a big report that came out of Hamilton County, 19 indictments, uh, an additional three that followed up on that. 90 cases, for instance, okay, let's take a look at this. Franklin County, three indictments in October of 2012 before the election, three. That increased to 90. I think what that says is 90 cases of double voting alone. That's what the board found in its own cross-checking. Uh, we, you know, some voter fraud will go undetected. And uh, there's no way of knowing, for instance, if, uh, those who are uh, short-term residents in Ohio are casting a ballot here and somewhere else as well, including campaign workers. Um, in fact, uh, that brings up the uh, question of college voting, of uh, non-resident Ohioans who are being asked to register and cast a ballot in Ohio. Uh, we have a statement in there. You'll see Holly Carino, who is a registered Democrat, by the way, of Ashland University from the state of New York, was approached by a paid Obama campaign worker. It's all detailed there in the statement. And she was asked, uh, are you registered to vote? She said, I am in the state of New York in which I reside, and I've already requested an application for absentee ballot. You'd think that'd be the end of the discussion. No. She said, well, you know that you can register right here in Ohio and cast a ballot. And she went on with her and saying, we don't need your vote here uh, back in New York. We need it right here in Ohio. And she was pressuring this young gal to register and vote in Ohio, even after she had been told, now we're not talking about a volunteer, folks, we're talking about a paid Obama campaign worker. And we understand that uh, one of the ladies that couldn't come today, Cody Rangel, has done some research on this and with the local county uh, board there uh, in Ashland, uh, that there were a number of students that actually went in and had them rescind their Ohio registration. They felt under pressure and duress to register in Ohio and felt funny about it. That's a good idea. Because if you cast a ballot in Ohio and you cast a ballot back home, you're committing a fourth degree felony and I don't think that looks very good on a resume when you're trying to get a job in this environment. So there were more issues that, you know, we can't address them all. I've done three hour meetings on this topic with folks and it's been all the same. I mean, it's been content. 